Ladies and gentlemen, I have a terrible, terrible secret to tell you. It's just, I don't understand what is wrong with me. I did not like Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight. I didn't like it! And here's the problem with not liking it, is everybody else seems to think that this is his best movie. I can't personally see why, because I didn't like it. Now, why didn't I like it? I don't know. Uh, could it be uh, could it be Samuel L. Jackson? No, I love me Samuel L. Jackson. He is a great actor. I loved him as Nick Fury. I loved him in that, that crazy movie with the sharks where the whole movie was kind of what's the point after he got eaten. I, I've always enjoyed this man's work. He's a great actor. Samuel L. Jackson kicks ass. Great dude. How about Kurt Russell? Always love me the Russell. Great dude, that Kurt Russell. In fact, everyone's acting performance in this movie was really spot on. Incredible film. But I didn't like it. Was it the cinematography? No, it's great with cinematography. Although I will point out that some of these shots are long. This movie could have been shorter. Dude, we need to see that cross for all that time. It was a long movie. Beautifully done. Well-made sets, but it was a long movie. So what was it I didn't like about this film? Well, I finally figured it out. There are holes in the plot. Dumb ones. I mean, it's like, look, you're a dude hunting down gang members. And you have a notorious outlaw in your possession. And you're not going to recognize other Notorious outlaws from that same gang? Really? You're not going to notice that, huh? There is the other fact about the Hateful Eight. Well, I mean, look, there aren't any characters in this to root for. I don't like to see a character torture a chained prisoner. That's one of the... Violence against women is never something I've enjoyed. It's not funny. So I didn't care for that. I didn't care for the fact that all of the characters in this film are people you, you kind of want to see dead. They've shown themselves to be either filthy, dirty liars, or torturesome, or villainous, or evil in some way. And this, this movie is kind of like Reservoir Dogs in that regard, when you look at these characters, and there's no, no true hero, except Reservoir Dogs had a cop who was a true hero who is trying to take down some bad people. And then in Reservoir Dogs, you begin to understand those bad people. You saw them with a certain kind of logic, and they had their own morality. In this film, in The Hateful Eight, these guys just have no morality. They're in it for the money. I did not care for this film, and I know I'm wrong. I know everybody else loved it. But look, it just wasn't for me. That and the whole gay rape thing. I just don't like gay rape. It's just, I don't like rape at all. But, I mean, you know, I think it's really the rape thing that I don't like. The gay I could kind of deal with, but the rape I don't care for. And then there's another thing. I mean, Samuel L. Jackson, really great character, but, I mean, I know for a reasonable level of certainty that during World War II, the highest ranking African American in the United States Armed Forces was a captain. Yet, Samuel L. Jackson's character is like a colonel, and that seems really out of place given the fact that at the start of the Civil War, African Americans were not permitted in the military. In fact, when the Union began permitting African Americans in the military, there were units that were issued sledgehammers instead of rifles, because they didn't trust them with guns. I mean, look... That's one thing you need to understand. Back in the day, the brother man, my dark-skinned brothers, did not get a fair shake in this world. There they were, fighting for their own freedom, and you won't give the man his gun. What the hell? Makes no sense. So, it seems a little out of place to me to see this guy as a colonel. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I haven't been able to find any evidence either way. But yeah, it took me out of the story. Anyway, I know... My opinion is an island, and everybody else loved this film, so tell me how wrong I am in the comments below, but I'd ask you to be 
respectful, but I know you're not going to be. So, yeah. Well. Hmm. Eh. Live your life. That's how the world works.